most of these teams have done here. Now, last year, Corey LaJoy had an Allen Kowicki replica right down to the, to the uh, Xerox sponsorship for Kowicki's first win. And they've outdone themselves because this is the paint scheme run by Marty Robbins in the weekly races at the Nashville Fairground. Winner! Winner! <laughs> best of show, best of class, the best looking car here. Awesome paint scheme. Look at that thing. I love it. I once asked Marty about his cup cars when he drove for Cotton Owens, and they were painted like this, magenta and chartreuse. And I said, Marty, about yep. that paint scheme. He said, look, he says, I'm not the best driver out there. <laughs> so when these fast guys come flying up behind me, I want them to be <laughs> sure they know it's me. Yeah, and that's why the that, car has those that's bright That's definitely colors. a good one. I mean, obviously, uh, uh, you know, he was thinking about it. I think he probably had the most fun, not the fastest driver out there. But from what I remember, I think he was uh, definitely the most colorful one. Loved racing and racing people. And uh, had a lot of fun. William Byron with the Jeff Gordon Flames Man, paint I raced, scheme. I raced against that one uh, quite a bit. Lost to him a lot, too. But, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> a fun one to watch. We all did, Bobby. Yeah. We all did. Tried to fight him once, Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You lost. Let's get down to business. Ross Chastain right off the bat. Picking up where he's left off every single week. Top of the sheet. Fast hot rod and Tyler Reddick. How about that eight car? Yeah, right there at the top of the board. I mean, obviously, Clint. I'm thinking that you know Tyler Reddick should be the one that uh, he did some testing here. Obviously, when they we brought this car down, did some tire testing. So probably has a little bit of advantage to start with. And you know, we all know he loves running up against the wall. Just hope he doesn't get too close. You know, you said right up against the wall. Took the words right out of my mouth. Immediately, all these cars are running really high. Uh, obviously, the preferred line of one and two is always that way, but I see cars right up against the wall in three and four, more so than you usually do here. Yeah, and what I was thinking about is obviously everybody starts off with new tires here, and you know, and I know, Clint, that, you know, first couple of laps, you know, you got the good on the tire, right? So you can run up there where you want to run, but it, you know, and I know, 15 laps into this, you're really not wanting to run up there. You're just going to be sliding up there. So, you know, that'll be the, the hard part, I think, this morning to figure out, you know, where's the balance going to be at, where it's going to go, and you only got a few minutes to do it in. You know, it's hard to believe just what it was at 2008 when this track was repaved. It looks old wore out darling just like it did the first year i ever came here unbelievable how this place always just bakes the asphalt punishes the asphalt down here in good old sunny south carolina so the track house cars are running paint schemes from the exhibition race at uh, twin ring motegi in japan uh, dale earnhardt and dale jr nineteen fifty nine lee petty paint scheme on uh, the 42, that's an Oldsmobile, and that's uh, <laughs> the car in which Lee won the first Daytona 500. They ran those same car on pavement and on dirt back then. Well, wow. they, they do these cars too. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So. yeah. You know it's a <laughs> all back if, you, if you're racing an Oldsmobile. Yeah. New Oldsmobiles are in early this year. That's a line out of Blues Brothers, huh? Yeah. Sure is. That. Now, How look, about, hey, listen to this. I've already, this just in from old Larry Mack. We were talking about this previewing this weekend, and I was wondering, Bobby, would these guys be able to ship? Are this is sequential gearbox. We've seen it time and time again at different racetracks this year, three and four being a lot tighter than it is in one and two, hearing that the track house boys are shifting in three and four. Yeah, well, hot off the press. I usually don't talk to very many people, but I did see Eric Almarola last night, and I did talk to him about it a little bit, and he said you will. I mean, he said you probably can shift. But, you know, the worry is going to be blowing the tires off, you know, off a of turn four if that's the case. Because, you know, there's no grip anyway. So, you know, we'll see how long it lasts or what might be the right roll for the corner. Let's ride along with Sorg.